Here's problem five. I'm trying to graph the inequality y is greater than or equal to two thirds x minus two. Again, the way we're going to start this off is we're going to graph where the line is located. We know the y-intercept, just think y equals mx plus b, m being the slope, x being the x right there, and then the b part being your y-intercept. It crosses the y-axis at negative 2. So at negative 2, I put a dot. That's the way I have to start every problem. Now I'm going to do the slope. The slope is 2 thirds. Now I can't really go up 2 thirds and over 1. I could, but it gets a little hard to see. So the easiest thing is rise 2, run 3. I'm going to go up 2 and over 3. That'd be the same as going up two thirds over one, up two thirds over one, up two thirds over one. It's easier to just go up two over three. Now, since it's a positive slope, we go up to the right. So I'm going to go up one, two, one, two, three. Up one, two, one, two, three. If I want, I could drop two over one, two, three, drop two, one, two, three. There we go. There are all our points there. Now, it does say greater than or equal to. That means the line is included this time. So I'm including the line, so I basically make it a solid line because it includes all these points on the line are solutions. They'll work. They'll end up making it equal. They'll make the two sides equal there. But the question is, are we on the upper side or lower side? Are all the points up here solutions to that inequality? Or is it all these guys down here? Well, since it's greater than, here's your hill. There's the underside, here's the up part that you're walking on. Dun, 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 dun. Up the line we go. So we want greater than, which means it's the upper part. So everybody, he's the solution, he's the solution. He is, he is, he is, he is. So in other words, you darken everybody on top. And there we have the inequality. Why it's greater than or equal to 2 thirds x minus 2.